Hello, I'm Hope. I'm a clinical psychologist in Hampshire CAMS. Have you recently had the feeling that there is more to do than can possibly be achieved in your day? Sadly, that is a significant challenge for parents and carers who are regularly faced with multiple day-to-day tasks and challenges. Many parents describe multitasking as their default mode and it can often seem that multitasking is the only way that parents and carers get through the seemingly endless list of tasks that need to be completed. This difficulty can be magnified when your child is sad, needs more of your time to comfort them, or requires additional planning to attend appointments for mental health support around school and work commitments. If you have a child with mental health difficulties, as a parent or carer, it makes it easier if you can be more efficiently juggling the many tasks life throws at you. Research suggests, however, that multitasking is actually unhelpful If you think about the last time you forgot something, it was probably because of multitasking. Multitasking can make us feel as though whilst we are doing a lot of things we need to do, we aren't doing anything properly, and this gives us a sense that things are just out of control. Furthermore, when we are tired, overwhelmed or more stressed, which is often the experience of many parents and carers with children with mental health difficulties, it becomes even harder to focus on multiple tasks and multitask. So what can we do instead of multitasking? We need to try and increase our efficiency. A good time management strategy can help with this and reduce additional stress while increasing overall productivity. The Eisenhower is a time management matrix in which you divide tasks into important tasks, not important tasks, urgent tasks and not urgent tasks. Eisenhower was the 34th US president and prior to this he was a general in the US Army who played a major role in planning and executing invasions. Within his many roles, he made some significant contributions and was seen as a highly productive individual. His productivity has been extensively researched and his highly productive strategy is known today as the Eisenhower Time Management Matrix. It's a very simple technique that parents and carers can use day to day to manage their tasks. Examples of how this can look for parents can be found in the Parent and Carer Manual and also in the book, How to Cope When Your Child Can't. You may want to break things down into a grid to help you get the things done that you need to. Using this method, you can break the things down that you want to accomplish in regards to urgency and importance, starting with tasks that are most urgent and important to you. By mapping it out in this way, it leaves you with a more manageable workload and one that you can prioritise tasks instead of taking on too much at one time. Sometimes mapping it out visually can make it feel less overwhelming so you're not holding it all in your head. Next time you feel like you have too many tasks or are juggling too much at once, take some time to break down your tasks and what you need to do and practice balancing these priorities with other activities that alleviate stress and leave you feeling more positive. We have five top tips to help you to use time management skills effectively. Number one. Be aware of your coping mechanisms. It can be important to notice what your default coping strategies are when you're becoming overwhelmed by tasks. Do you procrastinate? Avoid specific tasks? Overwork? Or have preferable tasks you prioritise above others? Being aware of your default coping strategies will help you recognise the signs that you need to use time management skills, but also might be the very trap that stops you from using it effectively. Number two, be present. Practicing mindfulness and emotional regulation strategies can help you implement time management more effectively and notice when you need to use it. You can find more information on how to do this in our parent care manual and on our website. Number three, looking after yourself is important. Placing tasks that help you to meet your basic needs and look after yourself should be placed in the important box. If you're not looking after yourself, it is so much harder to complete tasks efficiently. Four, notice what you are doing. Sometimes when we have so many tasks to do, we can find it really hard to notice all the tasks we have achieved. Recognising our achievements and small successes can improve our mood and give us a sense of achievement. This can actually make us more motivated so we can achieve more. Visually tracking this by ticking off the tasks you're doing can be a helpful way to notice this. Number five, be compassionate and kind to yourself when you can't get things done. 
There are lots of things that can get in the way of us getting everything we need to get done. Sometimes it's just not achievable. There's too much to do or you're overtired. Having a child with mental health difficulties can make life unpredictable at times. And you may need to prioritise them before other tasks you have planned, even when you have used the time management matrix. It can be easy to be self-critical, but it's really important to be kind to yourself in these moments and recognise when you've done everything you can do. Why not give this a go yourself and see if it can help you to manage your time and tasks more effectively?